Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Today I'm going to show you how to set up DMARC records in cPanel. Alright, begin by logging into your cPanel. If you don't know how to do that, a pop-up will come up in the top right corner. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into your cPanel. Once you've logged into cPanel, we're going to go to the Domain section and click the Advanced Zone Editor option here. At this point, I highly recommend opening our guide on how to set up DMARC records since it actually provides examples of what to enter in your DMARC records. From here though, let's go ahead and click Select a Domain and choose your domain from the drop-down. At this point, we're going to click the Type drop down and we're going to choose txt for the name enter underscore dmark I recommend using all lowercase in this case for the TTL or time to live we're going to enter 14,400 which is the default and then for the text data, this is where you will actually enter your DMARC record. And once again, if you don't know what to put here, I recommend bringing our guide up. Once again, a pop-up will come up on the top right corner. Click that to go to our full guide. And notice I'll bring this guide over here. And in my guide, I have examples of what to enter. For example, if you just want nothing to happen, if somebody gets an email that does not have SPF and DKIM set up, then you could actually just choose none. It essentially sets your DMARC up, but it's telling it not to do anything if there's no SPF or DCAM. You could also set it to reject or to quarantine. In the second section, these ones actually are the same as above, except it will actually send an email report of failed DMARC validations when you add the email address here. So notice. There's a section here for entering your email address. Be sure to update that with an accurate address. Uh, in my case, I'm actually just going to go and set it to none. And so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to copy that. Now back in the cPanel, we're going to enter that into this text field. Go ahead and click the Add Record button. You'll see this message saying the system successfully added the record. And you will notice your new record listed below. Thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Feel free to like this video or comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.